So leptin and what leptin resistance does to the body. So one of the consequences of having leptin resistance is that it will mess up your mitochondrial functions. So meaning poor mitochondrial redox reactions. Leptin resistance causes our brain mitochondrial dysfunction and can induce insulin resistance as we see in this editorial and further exemplifying the close interaction of mitochondria, leptin and insulin signaling in the brain. So really important that in terms of longevity, staying young, staying healthy, keeping our hormones in balance is that we address our mitochondrial redox reactions and fixing this leptin issue. Now, another leptin resistance consequence in the body and what it can do to us is cause us to be overweight. So obesity is another consequence of having leptin resistance. And this is why it's so important to fix your leptin resistance in order to lose weight once and for all, as well as autoimmune diseases can be another thing that is at the outset caused by leptin resistance. So one of those things, of course, we can see is that it's multifactorial in the way that it's affecting our different organ systems, whether it's in the heart, we can see here in the pancreas with type 1 diabetes, as well as celiac disease and inflammatory bowel diseases in the intestines, the joints can be affected with rheumatoid arthritis, even the skin. So vitiligo is an autoimmune disease as well as it's related potentially to that leptin resistance. Diabetes and leptin resistance, as we saw in that chart, could be the first outset is that leptin resistance that can then ensue with insulin resistance, chronic inflammation in the body. So in this study, it was found that leptin induces C-reactive protein expression in the vascular endothelial cells. So not only inflammation in general, but even inflammation in our arteries, which is, of course, another cause for heart disease. And that's something why fixing our leptin signaling and that leptin resistance is really important for our cardiovascular health. Low testosterone can be something else that leptin resistance does in our body as well as imbalances in our estrogen and progesterone levels. We have something called pregnenolone steel. So if you don't know what that is and how leptin resistance will affect our other hormones as it's related to pregnenolone steel, please check out my other videos on pregnenolone steel. As well as anxiety and depression can also be caused by leptin resistance and a consequence of having that leptin resistance in our body. So just not feeling well in that mental emotional sphere. Poor immune function can be another consequence of leptin resistance. So especially after this certain famous viral infection that I think has touched us all in one way or another, there's something called the long haulers who haven't done well with certain viruses for a long time after being initially infected as has been related now to leptin signaling as well. And cancer is another consequence, again, being one of those most serious diseases that we definitely all want to prevent can be a consequence of having leptin resistance. So today I talked all about leptin resistance and what leptin resistance really does do to the body and the possible consequences and why it's so important to fix our leptin resistance. For tips on how to reverse leptin resistance, check out my video, Nine Tips How to Reverse Leptin Resistance. One of my goals is to teach you how to empower yourself over the healing of your own body, mind, and spirit. Be well.